Welcome back to Why in the Morning. And if it's Tuesday, it's matters pertaining entrepreneurship at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. So I say that as, as you are a trader or running a business that your clientele is the best platform so to actually learn if you're doing well in business so today we're looking at choosing the right platform when it comes to matters pertaining e-commerce in studio i'm joined by uh priscilla and jenga priscilla and jenga she is the manager at uh, global shoppers thank you very much for creating time to be with us priscilla thank you how have you been i've been good how is your money coming along your Tuesday, wow, Michelle. <laughs> yeah, today is Tuesday. Oh, yes? Yeah, it, it, it was a good morning. I can say uh, it was okay. There was no traffic when I was coming. Mm -hmm. It was all good. All right. Yeah. So, Chris Killer, how yeah. did you find yourself in a space, in the space of e-commerce? At uh, the beginning, I used to ship uh, items, and I had a shop in, uh, in Kasarani, but it didn't do well. It didn't do well because of COVID, um, and I decided to think of doing something else. So I came to think of how I can, instead of buying bulk things, I bring them to Kenya and then I'm left with dead stock. Mm -hmm. So I decided it's good if I can have a, a, a website where people can come and search one item, maybe two items, what they want. And then in the end, I'll not have anything left. Okay. Yeah. Well, and how did Global Shoppers came by? Um, uh, when... After I finished with the first business, mm -hmm. I, I decided to create the website. I have put uh, different, type, different shops on the website. There's Marks and Spencer, there's Argos, there's Ikea, there's eBay, there's Amazon. Uh, I have so many shops in the website. So all, what, what you need to do is to just go and search. If you want to buy Marks and Spencer items, mm -hmm. you go and click. We have. Uh, phone number if you want to item which is not on those website you can call us or email us and we can be able to get stuff for you because we can shop for anybody who is in uk i mean in kenya okay. from uk all right yeah uh, you know, first time i got introduced to global shoppers it's from a uh, i think it was in asia just getting for people in asia but in this time round, this one is from the uk so how yeah. did you link up with the company well, our one is called UK Global Shopper because okay. we want to be global. Even we're gonna, we, 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 are, we are helping our clients to buy things in China. So we can get shopper, like uh, if you want a shopper, we can get you a shopper who will, be, who will, be, who will help you to buy items in China. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to be global. So our one is called UK Global Shopper. Right. Yeah. Okay. So for someone who is from the other end that they have particular products and they want to market with you guys also just to increase on their sales, is there an opportunity of the sort? At the moment we haven't started that, but we are thinking of starting something which will help people. Like we want to start like a car boot where people will come, they can park their cars, they can sell their items like if you have, instead of selling online, you can sell the items in the car boot mm -hmm. and people will be coming to buy them like we have so many people in that place and it can be like twice in a week not every day so if you have a small business or you want to set to sell your items you just go to the car boot it's, we want to create like a marketplace where people will come and buy other people's items and in that way we can also talk to those people on how they can we can get their items from China or from UK. Okay, so yeah. when it comes to, you've mentioned a couple of uh, sections when it comes to the website, if I'm coming to buy anything yeah. uh, from that particular platform. So what are these sort of products or services that you're offering in this particular website as a potential client? Uh, like for example, we have Max and Spencer. What does that entail? It has clothes. Mm -hmm. For example, if you want to buy men's clothes, shoes, shirts they have very nice um, clothes and they most of the people who are in kenya they like max and spencer items um you'll find that on on um, we have a shop in uh, ruiru bypass we have those items we are selling them. we sell them but at the same time we want to know what people we want to know we want to show people what we have 
and what they can get. Okay. So we have Marks and Spencer items, we have Clarks. If you buy a Clark shoe, we have the Clark website. It is there in, on the website. Mm -hmm. So if you want to buy a Clark shoe, mm -hmm. it is there. It is expensive, mm -hmm. but it stays for long. You'll wear it a ma like a year, and then you'll put it aside. Then after three years, you come and get it, because they are very durable. And for one who wants to start like uh, or build an online store, what does that look like? If you want to build an online store, yes. uh, which we haven't thought about it, at least you have told me, which I can look into, um, uh, it could be if somebody can be encouraged to do their own thing, like they can do it on Facebook at mm -hmm. the beginning, mm -hmm. and maybe they can create their own website. Mm -hmm. But having, the, the, the way you have, you have said, having said that I haven't started it, I can look into it probably maybe after three months you'll find we have it on our website mm -hmm. yeah all right so we are waiting for that yeah <laughs> of course so how can i like if so for okay i was about to go and ask for someone who's going to you know start an online store and you guys mm. know, maybe just host them yeah uh on the space of uh opportunity for them to also put their products and yeah. how to customize them but you guys have said you've not done that yet we haven't done it yet but i, I i'll look into it okay yeah. so in this particular uh platform how do you like maintain or rather take your customer service because uh I, there's no one-on-one -on -one interaction yeah so at the beginning it was very difficult especially with covid 19. Mm -hmm. so we started when we started this year we are not that old we started this year and because of COVID-19, it was at the beginning, it was very difficult to get clients. But now, because uh, people are getting vaccines and people now have come to know what COVID is, it, things are getting better. We have buyers, like we have people from churches who are buying keyboards. We help them search. Like, so for example, somebody will go in the website, go to eBay or maybe Amazon. Mm -hmm. They will search for the keyboard because the, the, the website is there. And then when we talk to them, we can get it cheaper for them in the same eBay. Because when you go to eBay, you find there are so many people who are selling. Some of them, they sell expensive, and it is the same item. So when you keep going checking, you find there are people who are also selling cheaper. So we support them, and we help them, and they trust us because like, we have one customer who bought a keyboard, and we were able to deliver it in five days from UK. Okay. Yeah. Speaking about delivery, uh, so how should uh, how should a clientele like determine the like the shipping cost of everything? Like, cause I'm in Kenya, I want my keyboard, for instance, from uh, from UK. Yeah. So after you have searched your key keyboard or whatever item you want, um, we take you through the journey of what you want, and then you get the item you want. Uh, we normally. Uh, ship it, um, you pay on kilos, like one kg, it is from up to one kg. Even if your item is less than a kg, you have to pay from one kg. Mm -hmm. So one kg we charge nine pounds and 20 pounds handling mm -hmm. right. charges, yeah. Okay, and for someone who wants to get into this uh, form of business, uh, probably start an online shop and or anything like that, uh, what would you, when it comes to like, uh, how do you create uh, the best product image and description? Because at the end of the day, for a potential client on the other end, they don't get to touch, they don't get to, uh, you know, just uh, relate to the product that you're selling. So how do you actually, like, create best uh, image and descriptions of the product that, you, uh, that you're selling? You have to be true to your clients, mm -hmm. because if you say something is like this, it's going to be durable, it can stay for months. You have, to be tra you, have to, you have to make sure that your clients will trust you. Mm -hmm. So you have to give up the description of your item. Like if it is cotton, you have to say it is 90 or 30% cotton. You have to say what it is in the item, so that the person who is buying knows what it what it is for example some people may go and buy things online mm -hmm. they don't check on the description so it is very essential for um customers or the clients to check on what they are they are buying and also to check on other website to see what the description is and i'm so wondering how do you guys actually deal with the returns and the returns. has there been crisis of returns at the moment, I haven't had any returns, but we, because me, I was born in Kenya, 
it is very I have people I have connection with the people from the airport if some something wants to be returned it's, go, it's going to be very easy for me to return it from UK to if, if it, it came from Amazon mm -hmm. I'll be able to return it to Amazon and Amazon are very quick you just put uh, there's a way you go to the website you take your item you you they give you there's a paper who it will generate a paper mm -hmm. you put it on your item and you re, uh, you return it and they return your money Right. Yeah, okay. it's very easy. And when it comes to tracking the level of your success, when it comes to like how you guys are doing in business, how do you go about that? Ideally, we are we like for example, if you want to buy your item, mm -hmm. uh, you have to check on how many days is going to be delivered in our office in UK. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you buy an item, if it is delivered, uh, it will say like three days. So it will come to our office in, in the UK f after three days. So after three days, if it comes on Thursday, your items are going to delay. So it is good if they can, can come like Wednesday, because if they come on Wednesday, on Thursday they are shipped to Kenya. So it will take like seven days, five to seven days. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. And I would like to also know the marketing strategy that you guys use so that you can, uh, you know, uh, reach out to also guys who also want to shop with you guys. We have Facebook and also we have the website. Mm -hmm. We have leaflets. We have cards. We go to events and we have a table and we talk about our, our UK global shopper. And people get excited because. You know, like me, I was born in Kenya. I know Kenyans, uh, um, and I would like them to have this idea of going online to buy items because you find most of the people they go to the shops. If you go online, there's there's a there, there are varieties of items which you can buy, and they are cheap. Mm -hmm. So I would like them to have that idea of going online and buying, and like Facebook, people put items on Facebook, and some of them are fake. They need to know. Uh, like you can go, for example, go on the reviews and check whether this person sold me this, was it good. That way you'll be able to buy a good item. But if you don't check the reviews, you'll not be able to know what you're doing or what you're buying. You might buy something which is not what you wanted. Right. Yeah. When it comes to sales, as Kenyans, have we really embraced the aspect of just purchasing things online, considering uh, people always feel on the issue of protection on you know, the information as your customers, because there's also the issue of cyber security. So how do you guys handle that? Um, well, um, on, on our, like, like now I'm still young in the business. Yes. Uh, I know about the cyber security. But how do you intend to like handle the issue uh, for the sake of also the person who's watching and want to get into like our the e-commerce space? Yeah. yeah, like our website is, is, is maintained. So you have to keep maintaining your, uh, your uh, your website so that it, it's not hacked and also you are not like you don't go through those because you can be hacked and then somebody else is selling items or is doing the same thing mm -hmm. but the money is being sent to another person and it's not you so we, we it is maintained we have somebody who is maintaining our website and it is well looked after okay yeah I would like you to take us through what it looks like uh, from your perspective consider that you you run the, the platform yeah e-commerce platform mm -hmm. so the people you like uh, collaborate with the sellers, uh, the different brands that you work with. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, uh, you told me these are sausage pillows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got different types of pillows. Uh -huh. It depends on the size you ask, and ah. also we, desi we can design for you. Even if you want to put your face there, we can we can design it for you. Like for example, we have this one. Uh -huh. Somebody told us he uh, they, they want this design. Uh -huh. So we had to create a design which has the the eye blouse and all this. And when you're buying, you can find you can buy like different uh, style. So yeah. So this one is called a sausage pillow. Like the ones I don't know whether you have. Yeah, you 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 have to say the size you want okay. when you create or when when you want to buy something. Okay. So we can also change. We can make you big ones it depends on the size you want all right uh, so when you're buying items from us uh -huh. or you you are shopping from us we can be able to talk to our shopper and they can be able to get the design or the style you want okay Priscilla, the, the, the question was now mm -hmm. like for these guys yeah. how did you like connect to them and know that whatever they come to you with that this is what we do is legit 
Um, it's, it's very difficult to get to know the person. At the beginning, um, there is a time I went online and I bought uh, items. And if you find somebody telling you to put money in the bank, mm -hmm. for example, uh, put money in my bank, it's, don't do that. It's better to put money on the paper because if you lose your money, you'll get it back. Mm -hmm. But if you put it, if somebody tells you to put money in the bank, your money is, you, you, you're going to lose your money. Because that, at the beginning, that's what I did. Uh, I was buying items, and the person sent me the samples, which I bought them very expensive. And then after that, I sent, the person told me to send money in the bank. And that, I lost my money. So it's good to put your money on paper uh, so that uh, when if, if, you, if you claim and ask for your money, you'll get your money back. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful. Okay. What are the benefits of running an or just opening an online store? Uh, the, 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 it's, it's because when somebody shop with you, you can if you deliver the item, maybe even they can open when you're there. Like us, we can deliver the items to you, and then you can open. And if you see the item is not what you wanted, it can be returned and then you get your full amount. Mm -hmm. So I don't know about other online, sh uh, uh, an online business, what they do. Um, maybe if, for example, the item th they don't want, maybe they don't, ha they don't return them. But in our case, we can be able to, to get the item and return for you, and you'll be paid the full amount. Mm -hmm. Along this, uh, in this particular space, a couple of uh, challenges that you faced along the way. At the moment, the challenge is getting the clients. We have, we, we are building up clients and the trust with, with our clients. And at the moment, we are doing very well because you can see like now the shopping, the shops are opening. Mm -hmm. Even in UK, the shops are opening. So before we had challenge and the, at the moment, we don't have many clients. We, we are still having clients asking questions. We, we have people who are buying from our website, they go to Max and Spencer, and we have items ready for them. If, for example, you want to buy something from Max and Spencer, we have items from Max and Spencer. So it won't take long, you can come to our shop and see what we have. So the challenge uh, which we have is, we are still looking for more clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. although we have, uh, we have many people who are coming forward, and it is very positive. Okay. Yeah. And when it comes to the, someone who wants to run e-commerce, uh, do you guys run 24-7 or is there like a time frame? It's from uh, 7 to 8. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's another issue when it comes to uh, online shopping. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you uh, you will probably give a different angle this one. Mm -hmm. Like if you are shopping online, you tend to do more uh, impulse buy. Because yeah. it's just on your phone. It'd be like this one, this one, this one, this one. So what is your take on that? And I think people also uh, shy away from uh, online shopping because it's easy access and, you know, your card is close by. It's linked. You just shop, shop, shop. And then you put your... Yeah, the people who have... There's also people who have issue with uh, that impulse buy. So what is your take when it comes to just handling that? The handling when they come to paying? When it comes to shopping online. Uh, I didn't get your question, right? Uh, okay, so we well, see, like, uh, if you and I were to go to uh, maybe uh, physically to a store, right? Yeah. Uh, the people who tend to buy, who are impulse buyers. Yeah. So what they opt to do is just have a list of this is what I'm just going to get. Yeah. If I'm going to a supermarket, yeah. this is the only thing that I'm going to get. And this is how much I'm going to spend. Yeah. So when it comes to online shopping, uh, most people feel like, because uh, it's so easy to access, yeah. so it's on my phone, I'll just scroll and I'll be like looking yeah. and I'll be looking, oh, nice duvets, get yeah, them. Right. Go by, look, nice dress, get them, nice shoes, get them, get them. At the end of the day, you'll spend a lot. So how, what's your take on impulse buying when it comes to online shopping? Yeah, um, this, 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 the, the, we have people who are shopaholic. They just want to buy. Exactly. Yeah. They just you find these oh, eyelashes. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice and uh, you know gel. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they do buy that. They buy so many things. I think I you have to check on your budget. Like you're getting paid, maybe for example thirty thousand. Mm -hmm. You have to check on your budget. You have to make sure you want to buy the right thing for that time. Don't buy something which you want to keep for tomorrow. Just buy something which you're gonna uh, work with it within that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are a couple of financial lessons that you've learned along the way? 
Say it again, please. A couple of financial lessons that you've learned along the way. Well, I have learned like you have to plan before you do something. So you have, for example, you have, you have money with you and you want to start something. First of all, you have to search and know what you're doing, wh what is happening in this business, what is happening in this. You have to then pl start planning. And it is good not to use all your money because if the business fails, you've lost all your money. So it is good to start at the beginning with less money and then you start building. Like when I started this build, uh, business, I have started with like very little money. And then you can see I'm having clients who are coming, they pay and I'm getting money and I'm, I have started building and I'm, I can feel it's getting better. What was the initial capital? Uh, it was uh, 100,000. Okay. Yeah. And that w what did that cater for? It catered for the samples we have for the, for the companies like Max and Spencer. And also those samples, we, we have loads and we are buying them cheap. We have a company which um, is called John Pie. When you say samples, what does that exactly mean? Like, for example, if we have coats, mm -hmm. like for, for Max and Spencer, mm -hmm. we have shoes mm -hmm. from Clarks. Mm -hmm. uh, they are samples, but we have others. If you, if you find the sample is good, you can buy it. So we have all those samples ready. And if you want, you can buy It's not going to take long. You can come in our shop, you can see them, touch, and then you can buy. Although they are a bit expensive mm -hmm. because they come from... Um, companies which are they're like designer shops all right yeah and uh, okay so w what would you say for someone who runs a physical shop or business wh what would you tell them in terms of e-commerce is it really needed for uh, for your business mm. I, I think it is it's for example like uh, when you talk about e-commerce mm. it's yes. like something like you have a big mar um, market online yes. online yes. yeah uh, at the at the beginning uh, the market i have it, it, it may look big because they, are, they have so many websites on it but it's not big for me because mm -hmm. i'm going to be handling one customer at a time when they buy items from different shops mm -hmm. um they, there is something else i haven't put on my website um, which is like uh, the, 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 we have people like in uh, the, the who sell second hand clothes um they, they sometimes they don't know where to get items from and we have a lot of second hand clothes in uk mm -hmm. and to to help other people build up their business mm -hmm. if they can join themselves like into groups of 10 10 or maybe five they can have a, a 20 foot container which i can ship for them and it's going to be very cheap than going to Kikomba and buying a bale. Ah. So if you can buy, like, for example, you say, okay, I can afford to buy 10 bales, or maybe I can f afford to, f to buy five bales. If you, like, you are, like, 10 people or 20 people, or those people who sell second-hand clothes, I can be able to ship for them. And what would be the, the huge difference between just, you know, getting a bale mm -hmm. for guys in, the, in Kikomba and, uh, you know, coming together as 10 people and reaching out to you to get maybe a container? Like, I've been to Kikomba, I have, mm -hmm. I have bought bales in Kikomba. Yes. And when you go, go and buy a bale in Kikomba, what you, what, what you get there, you go at a loss. But the, for example, me, myself, I, I'll be able to buy them good things which are from UK, mm -hmm. and I would, I, I'm just shopping for them, you know? So I'm not interested in their money. I'm interested in shipping. Uh -huh. So I'll be able to buy for them and ship for them. So when they go to Kikomba, they will buy an item for maybe 15K. And it may, when, when I ship for them, it might be even 12K. So it will be more cheaper for them than going to Kikomba. Okay, I've so, always been, oh sorry, continue. So it, it's to, to go online when you trust somebody is good. So if people can trust me, because I have, I have trust in other clients who have been buying things online, and I have also another potential buyer who want to buy, um, she has a big shop of secondhand clothes, so I'm still negotiating with her on how we go we're going to do this. So it's going to be good for them if they can trust me. All right, so yeah. how can people find you across all the social media handles if they want to keep the conversation going? Yeah. <laughs> So I uh, have, uh, uh, you, they can go to UK Global Shopper. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's very difficult for people to go online. Mm -hmm. We have uh, our email on the website. Mm -hmm. We also have um, our phone number. Our phone number here is 
0718-0788. I will repeat. Yes. Our phone number here in Kenya is 0716-333-088. And my phone number in UK is plus 447517157. Fantastic. I'm sure the guys back at home got those digits. They were really said very slowly, you got them. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chris Kilanjaga, for creating time to, to be with us, telling us on matters pertaining e commerce and choosing the right platform. Asante Thank you. Asante. So, guys, we've come to the end of the show. Remember, we do this again every single Monday to Friday right here on Y in the morning. Make sure you follow us across all our social media handles. That is at Y254 channel. Make sure you have a bright day, a good day. Take care of yourself and you haven't got jabbed. Make sure you get jabbed at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social at Ramagoko. So, make sure that you stay tuned right here on Y254 channel. We have so much of programs coming your way. Have a nice day.